All right, folks, I went ahead and I installed this antenna on my roof. Uh, kind of jerry-rigged this with uh, some springs that I <laughs> that I managed to save from an old dishwasher that was getting uh, that was getting thrown out. Anyways, uh, I think this will work. Um, my only concern is the uh, is the cable that I used. Um, I had to screw it into the bottom of this thing, and and uh, it was a little bit difficult getting it to tighten up uh, in that PVC. But uh, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. And the cable's just basically running underneath the tile over to the side of the house. Oops, and there you can see the uh, cable coming off the roof uh, to this little gateway on uh, on this ladder. This is just temporary, of course. I just want to see if everything's uh, hooked up and, and uh, connecting properly. And I'll get into further details on that next. Okay, and now I'm indoors and uh, I just logged into the Things Network and I brought up my gateways and there you can see that it is in fact connected. So what that tells me is that uh, there is Wi-Fi coverage on the side of the house uh, where that gateway is uh, currently being tested. Okay, so the next thing to do is uh, check to make sure that that antenna is working properly. And the only way to do that is to actually test it out with a node. So this is my little DHT22 uh, hooked up to a Feather MO LoRa. Uh, and it's transmitting to the antenna that's up there on the top of my roof. So now we're gonna go back inside, open up my applications and see if that's working. Okay, so now I'm back indoors. I'm gonna click on applications. There's my Feather MO application, and uh, let's look at the data. And yes, the Feather Weather is in fact talking to the antenna that's talking via coax cable to the gateway that's mounted on the side of the house, which in turn is talking to the Things Network via Wi-Fi coverage, which apparently is good enough where it's uh, currently placed. More importantly, I'm interested in what the RSSI is for uh, that short path. It should be pretty low. Let's check it out. Here you can see that my RSSI is negative 52. So not great. Um, I was hoping that it would be a little bit better, but uh, it's still acceptable for some of the experiments that I want to do around the, uh, around the neighborhood. Um, if you guys have any thoughts on why this RSSI isn't any better, considering how close that node is to that antenna, please uh, share in the comment section of this video. So obviously this is gonna have to get cleaned up a little bit. I'm gonna have to do a little drilling in the, in the stucco here. I'm gonna have to put that gateway in a weatherproof box and then run a line to my uh, weatherproof plug down here. But uh, the fact that things are working gives me confidence that I can go ahead and start drilling and uh, cleaning things up a little bit. So. All in all, uh, I think it's, uh, it's a good sign moving forward. I'll show you what the gateway looks like right there. That's it.